So Jeff texted me the other day, tells me he knows where somebody that's got a Pontiac Pathfinder that he's trying to uh, trying to get rid of. He saved it from the crusher, but was trying to uh, sell it. And uh, Jeff wasn't interested in it, but I'm like, look at this thing. This thing is nice. I mean, it's got some, it's got a little bit of rust there. It's got a lot of rust in there. <laughs> but it's definitely, definitely interesting and cool. Like, I don't know, this is a pretty classy car, I think. It's got your typical rust issues, but it's pretty complete. Must have been somebody's first car, eh? Look at that stuff. He even comes with keys. I don't know what's what. Looks like a lot of keys. Oh, trunk's open. I don't even need the keys. Oh, this thing's just sweet. Look at this. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, I got some hubcaps. So the trunk won't stay up well on its own because it looks like somebody sawed off one of the trunk hinges. She's got a little rot back here. She looks good on the outside, that's for sure. I don't know, it stays up. Look at that. I don't know if I trust myself getting underneath there, though. Look at this thing. It's pretty, pretty stinking cool. What do we got in here? A little bit of chain. A couple really banged up Pontiac hubcaps. Ooh. Oh. Look at that. That'll just pay for the car itself right there. I've got some tune-up stuff. Neat. A little barbed wire. Fix the fence out back. Another Pontiac hubcap. Mint. Closes like new. We got four tires round everywhere, but on the top bottom there. Oh, you see? She's got a bit of splits in her here. Oh. Oh, maybe it's locked. Maybe that is locked. Let's see if something works in there. Negative. Okay, I'm not getting in there. So there's gotta be something good in there. Hey, look at that, it's even got a usable windshield. Didn't even notice that. It's pretty styling. I know this door's locked and there's lots of kind of crittery looking things at the bottom. But there's a lot of styling points going on here. This must have been a really classy car in the day. Eventually, I'll figure out how to open this hood. <clears throat> All right. We got that. We got a big old six cylinder. You know what's funny is probably that one I took out of the 55 would probably work in here. Single pot. Looks like some window squirters. I got a starter. That's a win. Cap, rotor, all the plugs are in it. What are the chances it's loose? That's highly unlikely, but... Ah. <clears throat> nope. Maybe it's in gear. Okay, let's be hyped. It is a big negative. She's a little stuck. <clears throat> hmm. There's no fluid in there. Now it's got oil. 
So I don't know. We'll look at it someday. Just not right now. <laughs> just not right now. We just took it off the trailer and we're chatting a little while, so I figure I'd take a walk around and look, see at uh, what I bought. I sort of bought a sight on scene, just seen some pictures, so I thought, why not? It looks pretty cool. It's got a very crunchy underside, but it looks really solid on the outside. I like it. I like it. Cause look at that. See, the rocker doesn't even look bad. Back here, we got some bubbling, but a little bit on the lip. But then there's like no inside of the car. <laughs> That's all right. Interesting. Well, anyways. Until I mess with it. This is where she's going to sit for a bit. Well, we got the old Pathfinder in the shop. But the hoist definitely does not like this car. She's heavy. So it's a little too far forward. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to give her a little push back yet. So I'll have to get the tractor and do that. This thing was a complete struggle to get in because I don't think any of the wheels actually want to turn on. <laughs> so I'll have to look at that. This one's down to three lug nuts. That's plenty. But I'm going to go in for supper, come back, try to shuffle this thing back a little more. See if my hoist will be happy about lifting it. If not, I'll just lift it up enough to do my wheels and things like that. Have a look. I won't be crawling underneath it. And then uh, see what we can do about the motor. But I really got to get these wheels loose first. Well, I couldn't see that. I actually need to... Uh, we gotta just try to get the motor loose. That's more important than the wheels turning right now. That'll determine whether we even attempt to get the wheels loose. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go in for supper. And then when I come out, I'm gonna try numerous things to see what'll happen here. I might be an idiot about it. Just put a battery on there and just see what happens. Eh, it might break the stir. Let's not do that. All right, well, I mean, what things are loose? Well, the throttle's semi-loose, so that's okay. 
there's, there's hope then. Our distributor is like only missing one wire, so that's kind of good. Yeah. Are we missing parts inside of it? Nope. Oh, there. Yeah, even the points look okay. All right. Well, if we get her loose, this shouldn't be too bad. Well, let's see what craziness we got going on under here. Yep, just as I thought. <laughs> Not a lot of good. Look at these things, eh? Crazy old three link. I guess that's where the mini truck guys got their idea from, huh? This is kind of a backwards style. So we got a full, full X frame with the floor delete option. Just got the floor mats holding stuff in in the back there. And everything is muddy and not turning. So we won't deal with that for now. One of our linkages is off for detransmission. There. So I don't know if there's supposed to be something more going on down here. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at that. I guess this was attached to the floor here at one time. <laughs> uh, that's pretty awesome. Okay. Well, I guess I must have uh, pinched the brake line, so those are probably not going to work. <laughs> yeah, that's why they're not going to work. All right. Well, first things first. Let's pull that inspection cover off and uh, just see what's tight and what's not. Well, let's straight up be dumb about this and just see what happens when I do this. Oh. <laughs> yep, a little tight. But it does turn, so that tells me it's not a terrible stuck. Pull cylinders and have a quick look see inside before I bend stuff like I do in the past. There's a little bit of movement, so I don't think she's a, a crazy stuck, which is good. Very good. Well, for this round, I went with the uh, acetone ATF mix that a lot of folks recommend. I haven't found that. I think they call it Croil, Croil, oil. No, or is that Marvel Master? Marvel, Marvel something oil. Although I haven't really been to the hardware stores, just some of the other stores I've been to, I haven't seen it, but it's not to say we don't have it up here. I'll have to find some of that yet. But we do know it turns a little bit, so it's not the not the end of the world. She should turn over, should run. I'm pretty optimistic. <laughs> uh, the gas pedal did crank, but I'm gonna spray everything up because everything just seems to be a little 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 schnug. And then we'll we'll get this air breather off and a little prime everything up with a little bit of spurts, some oil. See if that'll uh, free things up for a bit. And then uh, I guess I'll wait till tomorrow. See if I can... Uh, see if some life will come back to this thing. If she'll turn over. Well, if we've sat for a day and, uh, well, essentially it's the next day. Don't know how much that's done, but I'm still going to lift it up and see if we can walk this thing around. See how many valves will bend <laughs> or push rods. 
Hey, it should be fine. The plugs all look good. I didn't put a bore scope or nothing in, but they don't look rusty at all, so I don't think there's really anything going on in there. We should be good. My pup, we should be good, eh? cranking around underneath the keys going it sort of has a tight spot I thought maybe there was a valve stuck but there's nothing looks stuck so let's be an idiot and just try to turn it over with my luck the battery is gonna be no good that's usually how things go seems to be the MO yep Yep, that's how we roll. Ooh, look at that ground, eh? Smoking. <laughs> All right, I gotta tighten that up. I'm gonna get the charger on here. Let's see if it does something. <laughs> and she's still tight. Yeah, I'm thinking she's got some tight valves, which kind of sucks. <laughs> Means we have to take the head off. Boo. Like this one. Okay, those are not going to free themselves up. Oh, there's so much stuff to take off on a six cylinder. It's so crappy. <laughs> Well, that came apart really quick. So I'm just setting up my engine stand because I'm not about to bust my back trying to get that head off. So, uh, I'm just gonna find a way to hook a chain onto it, pull it off, and have a peek see at what is buggered or not buggered on it. I did get the head loose. I cut off the excess busted pipe. We should be, uh, we should be easy peasy to take off now.
mint. Now that's a setup. For some reason I thought I had some stuck valves. Maybe they still are. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's some stuck valves. What a weird cylinder head. Is that a Pontiac thing or what? Strange. I have to sit it down, free those up. These ones, I'll go grab the vacuum. I'll clean these out quick. Technically, I should be able to kick it with the starter and it should spin. Because I think it was just my uh, valves that were kind of hanging me up. So, let's vacuum those quick. And then for kicks, we'll uh, kick the starter over. See what happens. All oh, right, I need a ground cable, eh? <laughs> okay. What do we ground that to? Right there. That looks good, eh? Right there. Kind of a crap way, but let's see if it works. with that ground. <clears throat> still. Well clearly something's not happy still. I'm wondering if I got a stuck lifter or something. There's nothing to screw it up at this point so I think I'm going to just get underneath and bar the motor over till that pops loose. We do have stuck valves so I didn't waste my time doing this but Cause like this one's for sure. And then who knows, we'll have to do the old tappity tap on top of them here and see which ones uh, want to play bongo and which ones don't. No big deal. Not a big deal. Yeah, like this one's stuck, this one's stuck from what I can tell. That one's okay, that one's okay. That one's okay. Like, I maybe not got to it that it didn't have a chance to open yet. That's the question. But, let's get the motor free first, and then I'll be, then we can figure out what else we're doing. I really hope I don't got to take that valley cover off the side. Although it's pretty accessible. The dodges and stuff, they're kind of crap to get at. This one's not terrible. I might have to yet. We don't know. But, we need a free motor first. Or it's got to spin free. <laughs> Before we worry about the lifters. One thing at a time. Well, it's definitely very springy, whatever is happening here. So, my only guess is it's got to be a lifter. So I'm not going to over pry because there's maybe I'll break the cam here or something. Silly car. Okay, well, let's lower it down. Let's pull that lifter cover off because, I don't know, that's the only thing left that there could be something weird going on in there.
Well, I found my culprit. All of them are good, except for this last one is like stuck. She's a little oozy in there. Like all of these I can move, but that one, she, she don't want to move. So I'm going to try to pickle it for a little bit, see if that'll get her loose. All the other ones are okay. One of these I think I kind of blew apart when I was taking out the push rods, but she's all back together and good again. So everything is good except for that last one. I cannot move it budget or anything, so I'm not sure. We'll try some spurts on it and see what happens. I may have to just hit it with a torch. That might be all it'll take. We'll keep hitting it with that, soak it in for a little while, see if that helps. Not sure if these fenders were specifically made like this or what, but they sure hold a lot of tools and parts in them. <laughs> Look at that. You don't lose nothing. You don't need a tray with these suckers. They're so flat, big. They got a nice V-groove, hold all your nuts and sockets and stuff. Pretty swanky. Well, while that's going, maybe I'm gonna try to tackle the head there. See if I get them valves loose. I don't think they'll take much though. Probably just need a little a tappity tap and then we'll see once or twice back and forth. They might be uh, good to go. Oh. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Not so good. That was okay. Okay, I feel a couple of those. I don't know. It's just this one. Just the one. Yeah, that one's just not happening. That one will have to clean out. That's not bad. Only one? Now I know someone suggested like a bore brush for a gun or something, but I don't actually have any guns, so let alone have a need for a cleaning kit, so. We'll stick with this way for now. to that sound. <laughs> well, we got the valve situation good. 
I think the carb still needs a little bit of loving. She's uh, well, she's starting to loosen up. All the valves are loose, so that's good. We got to just keep working on that um, stupid lifter in the back. There's nothing to grab onto, so it's kind of uh, I'm kind of hooped at the mercy of whatever I'm using to spray it down with. Hopefully that gets in there. I might hit it with some heat, but I don't know how much that's gonna do because it's like, I don't know if I can get the block warm enough to do something. Maybe, without burning the car down. Be kinda cool. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, at least that's easy to do. I forgot to put the seal on there. <laughs> She'd probably have smoked a lot had I not noticed that. Oh well. I'll put that back on. Keep pickling that lifter. Hopefully something will work out here. Get a stuck lift route. That is one dead arse lifter. Holy. Hopefully that one comes back to life. Golly. Once I get some oil pressure, hopefully that one does something.
All I gotta do is put that throttle linkage back on, uh, either loop or do something with the heater hoses. And right now we're playing that game, you know, everybody's favorite. Can we get spark? Will the points work? You know, you know that game? Yeah. So that's where we're at. So I'm gonna brush these, find my file, sand these up, get some spark, and then, uh, I don't know, find some spark bugs? See if we can at least get a fire out of it tonight? Wouldn't that be cool? It's only just 10 after 10, so let's see what happens here. Spark, oh come on, really? You gotta be kidding. <laughs> this baby up. Ooh, it's like a lot of gas. It's like this vent doesn't want to take any fuel. Eh. Hmm. Let's try to put it on there, eh? Well, yeah, she got a couple vacuum leaks. We'll deal with that. Contact. Good to go. Make sure Idle down, see what happens. I gotta, make, I gotta confirm this is sparking here. All right, you might see this spark, you might not. Eating very much. Check our points again. Well, after multiple attempts trying, it turns out that my rotor, one of the little uh, tabs is broken on it, so I'm just gluing it right now, waiting for it to dry, because it keeps twisting out of the way and then I don't get spark, so hopefully that'll dry and we can still fire it up tonight. We'll find out. I'm going to sit and have a cold snack or two and uh, wait for that to dry. <laughs> All right, next day, I had to wait for the glue to dry on my cap, and anybody who was concerned about my condenser, I did, I did screw it down. Cap, wires, new day, new shot of gas. See if 
we get some sparklage out of there. This is very strange. All right, well I borrowed the cap and rotor from that 56, so the motor that I took out of that 56 car. And let's see if it does something here. Negative. What the, on earth? It's got to be the points. Got to be. Let's just file them, because there's something weird going on here. Alright, I need that. Choke open. Scared me. That was funny. All right. All right. Let's try again. All right. We need to put the charger on here. Okie dokie. Charger on. See what happens here. All right. Something's telling me the firing order's wrong. <laughs> Not cooperative though. Guess when in doubt, let's see what happens here. Sure seems like it's got compression though. Or I could be wrong. That's a pretty low number. 25. 25. Okay. Yeah, this is making sense now. How can they all be so crappy low? <laughs> so yeah, I guess we need compression for it to run. That is a problem. Jeez Louise. There's like nothing in any of them. That was like about 40 pounds. Oh, that one's 75 pounds. So we got one good soldier in here. Interesting. All right, we're gonna do our uh, compression modifier. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. We definitely have some issues here. I really don't want to pull the head off again. I don't know if it's rings or head. I guess you do the inevitable, what I should have done. Just check the compression. With a bit of oil in there. See if it improves. Sucker's got no rings. No rings. All right. I'm just gonna pull everything apart. It is what it is. We'll see. While we're here, we may as well have a peeksy and see if it did anything for the other cylinders. Twenty-five pounds. Mm. That one did not do anything. We're very little. That one, it helped. All right, so we're gonna fill the cylinders up with some oil. Let her sit. Hopefully, she frees up. Well, unfortunately, it looks like all the rings are kinda stuck. There's like 75 pounds in there. The rest, the best they have is like 25 pounds, somewhere like that. So, uh, and it does come up when I put some ATF in it, just not enough to actually fire. So, I kind of filled the cylinders up with some ATF. We'll see if that soaks in there good. I'll just keep putting some in. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll give her a few days and see what happens here. Hopefully it kind of will free them up a little bit. Because the car is kind of in no condition to drag around yet, so if it comes to it and that's what I need, I will drag this sucker around. But uh, I guess until that happens, I'm going to have to figure out how to unlock the wheels. And I might do the old Mordski, just rip the guts off because everything is so stuck. Uh, I might rip the guts out of them and put them back together so at least she can roll around. Because she's definitely not doing me any favors being stuck in every wheel. And I gotta go around and find me some 14 inch tires. These are all 14 inch rims, so it's like crappy. I thought these might actually work on my uh, my 54, but they're all 14 inch, so my hubcaps won't fit on them. Anywho, I gotta find some tires, and then maybe I'll be back in later and I'm gonna try to dismantle the brakes on this sucker.
I'm definitely gonna give Mortsky a, a shout out there for his uh, brake drum removal. It made life easier. I'm imagining everybody, even myself, probably would cringe if I was staring at that. But if you look at the option of uh, sitting for hours trying to get those loose, that would suck. And I pretty much opted for his process there of uh, torching out the rear drums because like how many hours does a guy want to beat on? I started beating on it and I was actually messing the drum up already and it wasn't even budging. So I'm like, ah, whatever. For a guy to do brakes on rock auto nowadays, it's like way less the headache that it would have taken the, uh, well, you even seen me struggling with that. I was actually, I bet you it already took me 20 minutes just to get them off, let alone had I been trying to do it, like take them off properly. They just never would have come off. Never, ever. I will easily pay $100 for those drums if that's what it comes down to versus uh, me pulling my hair out trying to get that off. I don't have a lot of hair to spare, so. <laughs> I need all the hair I got. Anyways, we, uh, we got all this. These are all 14 inch. I gotta find some wheels yet, some rubber, so I can at least put this back together and now it turns into a roller. And uh, while I wait for my uh, my rings to loosen up, I still got to put this one back together. And then this side, I think I got to smash one more lug into there because the one stud was like buggered. It was spinning. Oh, hold on. It actually wants to come out. It wants to come out. Look at that. Yeah, whatever. I lied. It's loose though. I'm not lying. See, it was spinning when I was trying to take it off. So I think I'm going to try to put one more stud in there just so I at least have, well, if it actually does run and drive, I'm going to at least have three studs in the back, right? Anywho, I think that's as far as I can get with this sucker because I'm kind of waiting on the motor to uh, decide that it wants to build a bit of compression. So we will wait. I'm going to keep throwing some ATF in it and uh, hopefully those rings loosen up. The fact that the car actually technically rolls now, once I throw some wheels on it, I could drag it around the yard and try to get the motor to turn and maybe the rings would loosen up, but I don't have a lot of friends, so not too many people are going to help me. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck doing this by myself, so... Anywho, for now, we're going to wait. And uh, we'll give you an update later. That good water? Hmm? That good water? Several days later. Well, I found some tires uh, behind the barn. Hopefully they hold air and they're going to do better than the ones I got. <laughs> uh, yeah, not ideal, but well, let's just slam them on and see how things go. Round tires are better than flat tires. So, buddy of mine is going to be by tonight, and it's maybe work on his 56 there. So I might get him to drag me around the yard. So in preparation, uh, I hooked up my fuel miser 5000 here. So basically my fuel tank with the pump on it, to which I ran through the firewall. I've wired it accordingly. And uh, I'll be able to just hook her up to the, to the tank. To which then my carburetor leaked like a sieve. So I took it apart quick, blew it out. It seems to be okay right now. So, 
uh, later on when he comes by, if he's gonna get him to push me around the yard here, see if we can get this sucker to go. I'm hoping it'll, uh, we'll pull it up and down the road there, see if uh, heating up the rings will knock them all loose. It should. And then uh, we should be good to go, hopefully. But until then, I'm just gonna shove her outside, stick her up front here. Right where Pablo's hanging out. So, uh, can maybe get his car in, clean up here a little bit. All right, waiting on Rolly. We're about to play this game again. Put a little bit of distance because this one rolls pretty good and I got no brakes, so. Instead of messing up that nice chrome, I'll be able to drive past them. <laughs> so yeah, when he shows up, we're gonna give this a whirl. Try to drag it around, see what happens here. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that uh, she'll get warm, the rings will come loose and she's gonna fire up, but what do I know? Hopefully, soon. See what happens. Try to see if it'll catch first.
Definitely has a miss. Definitely. Oh. Let's see if you'll start again. Well, she's not happy with me, but it did run super nice. It stalled right there, so eh, we'll let her cool down. Maybe put some water in it. And uh, I'll try it again in a little bit later here. <laughs> you could tell it had a miss though from when it was running, but that's pretty good. I'm gonna give her a push back up to the shop there and then uh, let her cool down and I'll give it a try a little later. Or tomorrow. We'll see. Nice and hot. No, I got no anything good. We're going for a good heat cycle. It runs better with the vacuum leak. Mint. We'll let that cool. Try that one again. Alrighty, we're the next day. Let's see if all the heat soaking did this baby any good. Find my gas pedal. Mint. All right. She is back to life. Granted. Well, now I'm not running it too long. I basically have to uh, A, hook up my fuel pump. We gotta do that. And then I'm gonna hook up these hoses here or loop them and then I can put some coolant in her. Cause she got none in her. But definitely the tug around helped her a lot. Because it actually runs really good. Well, let's get her running for a minute. There you go, you know, we've got to start our fuel pump. Anyways, let's get her started. Oh, we don't have choke. Other than straight exhaust, that motor's nice and quiet. No ticks, no noises. Win! Oh, the 
thing runs good. It's too bad the floor is just toast in this car. It's like a perfect candidate for a chassis slash floor swap because the outside of the car is just not bad. Everybody that sees this thing just loves it. I think it's a be a great car. That's stuffy. Eh? Well, I'm just going to quickly hook up these hoses, put some water in the engine, and uh, get her ready for uh, a trip tomorrow, for a ride. We're going to have to address the seat, so I don't think it would be an interesting video if I drive over myself. Look at this thing. Unreal. Look at the height difference from side to side. <laughs> She's definitely holy. My gas pedal actually fell through the floor and I was wondering why when I was shifting something was hitting my foot. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, look. It's already been patched. So this thing's been driven with uh, some cruddy floors. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this fix. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah. We're going to do some more of that for tomorrow. So nice, so nice. I wonder how much stuff works on here. Uh, no, and no. Interesting. You know what? We never actually did get in that glove box. Let's have a peek in there. I need a device to get in there. I think I found said device. I was wondering why I was running without my little electric pump on, but I think the original pump in the motor is actually working. Oh, I wish it was this solid on the other side. All right, button's pushed. <laughs> there we go. That's what we needed outside. What do we got in here? Look at this. Still in there. De-icer. <laughs> we need that out here. Insect spray? Cool. Still some in there. I don't know if it would spray. Would it spray still? Oh, look at that stuff. That is awesome. Carbide Blade Canada. No idea what year this thing is. Looks old. Who remembers this stuff? Okay. It smells good though. <laughs> what else? We got some more de-icer. No idea. Some stuff, electrical tape, 72 Manitoba fishing guide, cool, mm, fertilizer, maybe they left it in here and that's why there was no floor, I don't know what that is, a couple road maps, ooh, well, yeah, let's not get into that, that's probably Ooh, I just got into that one. Probably be able to find the original owner though. 1958 pond. Look at this. Original user's manual. Well, isn't that cool? Man, just cherry. Cherry. Anywho. It's kind of neat. Oh. Well. Well, those are kind of cool. I'll keep those out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to button this sucker up, throw some water in her, and figure some way to prop my seat up. Till tomorrow. 
Alrighty, well we've made all the appropriate repairs so we can actually take it for a drive. Uh, we've put floorboards in, win. We uh, have suspended, we gave ourselves some suspension seats. So that's uh, holding me off the floor, so that's good. I have it uh, adjusted for my, for my uh, comfort. If I like to sit a little closer, you kind of give her an extra click or two and then that'll scoot you a little more forward to the steering wheel. So we got that going, that's good. Oh, look at these little stubbies, eh? What is this stuff? I don't even know, can't read it. Oh, look at that. Neat. Uh, maybe we'll hang one of those on the wall, right? Why not? Yeah. All right. We're going to see if Pablo approves. Are you good to go? Do you want to go for a ride? Hey, you want to go for a ride? Oh, yeah, look at that. All righty. Well, then let's go for a rip, bud.
right, well, I think that's where we're gonna leave this one. She runs, she drives, she doesn't stop, but she was destined for the scrapyard, so we saved her from that and just added it to the collection. It's, it's pretty far gone, but it is fixable. But I would say it would be fixable in the sense of putting a whole new chassis underneath. Chassis and floor pan would be the ultimate way to do it because the rest of the car is really not that bad. But anyways, as always, thank you folks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.